Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. It is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday morning to you. I hope that your morning is starting out right. My morning is starting out pretty good this morning. Got up, got a walk in, came home, started drinking some water, and then I'm like, hmm, do I start cleaning first or do I start making food first? So yesterday I waited till the afternoon to make food and then I got a little crazy and busy. So I'm like, let me get all my food done. So meals are done for the day. And then the, t the time permits, I can work on my cleaning for the day. So that's the, that's the pattern I'm gonna take today. So this morning, I'm gonna make some crepes. I have not made crepes in a long time. Miss Barbara bought us a crepe. Cooktop here, awesome. This works so good. So I'm gonna make some crepes for the kids. We haven't had this in, like I said, a little while. And we've got a lot of strawberry jam and I have a um, syrup. So I thought I could just heat this up. They can use either one as a filling, put some powdered sugar on it, it'll be delicious. So I've got my butter in the microwave. Let me go grab it and we'll add stuff to it. And I got my recipe from this cookbook. This is Lovely Seasoned Eats and Treats. This is the one I cook a lot from back in the day just because it has a lot of good basic recipes. And so this is Jean Smith, her grandma's crepes. And it's two tablespoons of melted butter. You're gonna use one and a half cup of milk, three eggs, half a teaspoon of salt, two thirds cup of flour. I'm gonna whisk that together real thin, pour it on, and we'll see how it goes. You know those first ones always don't work out that good, so we're gonna be hopeful that they turn out great. I feel like my first one's always gonna be a fail because you know I haven't made them in so long. I feel like I need a little bit more flour to mine, but maybe not. Two thirds cup of flour? Hmm. We're gonna see how it does if it cooks here. Let's see, it's a good trial and error. That's the beautiful thing of it. I realize I left a bunch of fog on you. We'll see how that works. I don't know if they're a little bit thinner. I think the ones I usually make are a little bit more um, with flour, but more, I guess more, more flour-like. But this is good. I mean, it's like they're just thin. Put them between two sheets of wax paper. I'm gonna heat up jam and syrup, and then they can um, have it. So I'm just gonna let that cook almost all the way. I just need to add more in the little cup, but that makes a huge one. A very big one, so it's good. You do, trial and error. The more I do it, the more it gets used to do it. I think last time it took me a few tries to get it going too. I just don't want to make a ton of these because we don't need a ton of these, but this will be good. This will something different for tonight. I know you can add different flavorings to the inside. Syrup will probably be really good, like a brown sugar and syrup, like a thick flavoring. And then um, I'll heat up strawberry jam. I think that'll be really good with some powdered sugar. Delicious and easy. Something different for breakfast. So I don't eat grapes, like I know people go to the restaurants and eat them. So I think that last time when I did do them thicker, people said they are supposed to be thinner. So these probably are the right thickness of that. Is that true? It just seems like you have to be awful careful, which is fine. They look delicious. I just clicked the one side. I think someone said you could do that. This was when I did this last year. So not bad at all. This will be a nice, something fun to wake up to for a Wednesday. Middle of the week, like surprise for your kids. I know my girlfriend, um, she would make those all the time. My kids loved them. I think before we moved to the mountains, we stayed at her house and she made tons of crepes. And she just made them in a frying pan. The kids like ate them up. They were absolutely loving them. So very good, very delicious. Let's keep cooking. These will be great. I'll finish making these when everybody gets up and gets moving for breakfast. Okay, we're gonna move on to lunch for today. I'm gonna do a little casserole. This is called Penny Supper Casserole. This is from the cookbook. It looks like this. I think it's called Apple Pie and Apron Strings. I don't know if you can get this online or not, but it's right here. You do four medium potatoes, you dice them up. I have three of these. I have more, but I'm thinking four is gonna be a lot. So I'm gonna dice these up. It says to add a cup of peas. Last time I made this with peas, my kids don't love frozen peas. They like canned peas. Who likes canned peas? The ones that grew up on canned peas. 
that's why I grew up on frozen peas. So I like frozen peas. My kids grew up on canned peas, so they like canned peas. But I'm not gonna put that in here and you just put an onion and margin is that you just cook these together, right? I'm just thinking, yeah. So I'm gonna cook the potatoes. So let me just peel the potatoes first and then um, get them with some water. We'll cook them over here on the stove. potatoes I store them in the refrigerator here because in the mountains you can keep them and they stay pretty good it didn't get that like damp or go bad in your house but in Florida here I noticed my onions went bad quickly my potatoes did so I stuck them in the refrigerator but I feel like they were in the bottom row of the refrigerator and I'm like are these frozen this one feels like it's a little bit frozen <laughs> so I think you can still do them we'll have to see I was gonna I need to I need to keep an eye on that which drawer to put them in because they go in the garage refrigerator so I just don't pay attention but I'm sure that bottom one gets awful cold so we'll see how they turn out probably a little mealy but we'll see if we even noticed That last one was definitely frozen, so I'm gonna go put these back in the refrigerator because I was gonna leave them out so I see them, but I'm gonna put them back in there so they at least stay cold, not in the frozen part, because I'm gonna need to make baked potatoes, hopefully this week. Since we're doing a bunch of things right now, I'm gonna cook those potatoes. While that's going, I was gonna start mixing up my taco seasoning mixture because I'm out of it and I will need to use it. And then I thought, well, let me start cooking my chicken. That's gonna go outside in the smoker. I've got freezer honey Dijon mustard. I'm just gonna put this in the smoker. It'll be simple, easy. I'm gonna make little um, individual dinner bowls because tonight we do our homeschool thing and it's a little bit runny, so everybody has a dinner. So I'm just gonna run this out and put on the smoker. So I'm gonna mix up my taco seasoning recipe. I'm not using anybody special. I was using my friends. We tend to, we tend to like the packet one. I think it's old El Paso. This is not the old El Paso recipe. This is the McCormick recipe. I don't know, maybe there is a difference. We just like this one. This is on the McCormick website. I'm just gonna do a bunch of, um, I'm gonna have to figure out how much roughly because I gotta put it in here. So I'm just gonna measure, put it in here, stir it up, and then add it in. Real simple. We like this one, it has cornstarch powder because then when you add it to the meat, it kind of sticks to a little bit, it's a little bit thicker. So that's why we do like this one. Actually, I will not be making my taco seasoning recipe because I don't have any more paprika. I'm like, I don't have any more. I bought a lot of chili powder, but not a lot of paprika. So I will just make what I have here, which is not very much, just to have a batch, and then I will make a note to order paprika. doing a bunch of stuff and I'm like I need to film this so I've got a pot of water boiling I'm gonna do like a chicken bowl so I'm gonna have chicken from the smoker I'm gonna do a little bit of pasta just with butter noodles that's it and then I've got one for stuffing in the front here and the back is corn easy that's what we're gonna do this punny supper casserole we're gonna work on that this is thing of cream of mushroom suit suit soup this is homemade it's dark way better than store-bought I'm gonna add a little bit of I'll just do a little bit of water to mine just to make it a little less thick. So this, you just add into it mustard. So I'm gonna squirt some mustard in here. I'm gonna bring it on. Mustard in here. It's about a two. tablespoon of mustard and just stir that together. And then I'm gonna add in here my onion powder because you know it's all chunked out. Instead of, oh, that's really chunky. All right, let's get the, let's get those. There we go. And then I'm gonna add some garlic. This is garlic salt to it. Cause that'll be delicious. And that's gonna be your sauce. The potatoes are here. You just stir this together and mix it in. I've got this package of hot dogs here. It's one of those different casseroles, but it's good. Always taste. Oh yeah. Okay, this has got a thing of butter in there. It's gonna be a little smushy just because um, my potatoes were mealy because you know they're frozen solid but that will be okay let me get this in here perfect 
Now this has the hot dogs on top of it, but I think mix it inside of it. So I'm gonna just pour my hot dogs in. Is there leftover hot dogs here? Right there. Stir it together. Thing is I'm gonna be done with my food in just a few minutes when it's all finished up cooking. I'm just boiling the noodles. Chicken is almost done. It's from 155. Real fast. You early you early you you earlier housewives, I never use a thermometer to check my meat. I just cooked it until like you cut it and it was it the juice is ran clear and it's white because I we eat white meat, we don't eat any dark meat. But I realized a lot of times I overcooked it. So get yourself a thermometer, a digital thermometer, invest in one. They're a little bit more, I mean like you know, ten dollars. But you can check your temperature of your meat. You can check the temperature of your bread. You can check the temperature of a whole lot of foods to make sure they're cooked to the proper temperature. I would just overcook them. So just to save that, get yourself one of those. So the good thing is I'm gonna be done with food. That makes me feel really good because today is a running day. It's one of those days that people would go out to eat. And there's nothing wrong with going out to eat, but having meals all done is gonna be like, okay, I did, I've got something. We didn't have to spend the money. That's a beautiful thing. So I'm I'm very happy. The crepes will be done. I'm just I took those out of the oven, they were staying warm. What I'll do is put them back in to stay warm till everybody gets up and eats them. And then the penny supper casserole will be there for lunch when we have lunch. And then dinner, I'm gonna make a little, I pull out these glass dishes. I only have to make five of them for tonight, so I'll divide up the pasta and the corn and the stuffing and the chicken. And everybody will have a little chicken bowl for dinner and that will work out really nice. I still have salad in there. I'll probably take some of the chicken and put it on there. I think I will eat that because I like that. We'll see. We'll see what I get hungry for tonight. And I also, actually, I still have chicken meatballs. There was, I think, three chicken meatballs left. I really enjoy the, cho the ch chocolate. The chicken meatballs. Now, I've got only a few in the family that love it. Not everybody does. And that's okay, but I thought it was delicious. So, not bad. They ate it. That's a good thing. And Maddie's brownies turned out really good. Lunch lady brownies. They were delicious. That was a nice treat to have afterwards. So, this should be pretty much done. I'm going to bring this stuff over here, and we'll make our little plates. So for mine, I'm gonna put some butter in there and garlic powder, or garlic salt with, and a little bit of pepper and just mix it up. It's just the tiny shell noodles. We won't use them for anything else. They came in the mac and cheese box that I get for Jensen. I just use the cheese, I don't use the pasta. And the chicken is almost done. I got some of it done. There's a few more pieces on the smoker. It's good. Okay, that tastes really good. That garlic salt, I think it's everybody's favorite. I could add some, um, Parmesan cheese, but I think that's gonna be good. Let's just make our little bowls here. One, I won't put, um, I've got a few more pieces of chicken on the smoker, they're almost done, so that's, I'll get that in a minute. How oh, great, dinner is done. This is one in the refrigerator. Um, sometimes I put less in some than others because I know Stephen doesn't eat as much as like the older kids, but I pretty much put even all the way across for it. That's good. There's still leftovers that Greg was gonna have tonight, so this is all just kids, five kids. And then um, I have a huge salad. I'm gonna have a salad and I think I'll chop this chicken up and put it in there and I'll have that because I really enjoyed that. So great day getting food done. I'm feeling like, okay, I made a lot of food, like just gathering things up and using them. So. That is the plan, that is the key, is gathering, using what you have, versus going shopping, it's created a meal. You can go to KFC and get a little, I mean, it's got like a different chicken, mind you, it's a little bit better, but better healthy, because it is homemade, you know, it's got pasta, and it's got stuffing in it, so don't, don't knock me there, but much better than going out and spending the money. I think I saved a whole lot of money. I know I saved a whole lot of money, because the kids and I went out one day to McDonald's, and five of them ate, 
it was a lot of money. It was over $65. It was $65 and nobody even got like a huge like extra. You know what I mean? Like they didn't get like, sometimes they get like an extra box of chicken nuggets and they eat them. No, they don't even do that. They, a couple got like the McFlurries for their drink, but still crazy expensive. So I know everything is just expensive, expensive. You can, but I understand you gotta pay your workers, you gotta pay your things. So everything's expensive. I get it, but a whole lot cheaper making it at home. That's really good. I think that was Miracle Whip and mustard, maybe a little bit of honey. Delicious. That's really good. I'm just gonna stick that in a, um, I'll probably put it in a container, put it in the refrigerator, and then that's it for food because the salad's in there. Then we'll move on to our cleaning stuff. I still got some time before we start our school. I'm gonna clean up before uh, I start my next task. I was just in my pantry because one of my syrup was empty and I was like, I wanted to get a new one because you know they put them in the refrigerator when they're empty. And I was looking and I'm like, I think like just what last week I was thinking, Oh, I'm out of food. I need to figure out how to eat from the things I have. And I'm like, there's still food in here. There's still plenty of stuff to gather up and make. Sometimes it just takes getting creative, but I'm like, uh, still a lot of stuff, which is awesome. So get thinking, get thinking to the things that you can make with your meals. I am gonna make my little sauces for my, um, the crepes, because the kids will be getting up, doing their things. So I took some frozen strawberries. I'm gonna put some jam, because we have a lot of it in here. Put it in the microwave, let it kind of cook, and then smash those down for a strawberry flavored one. And then I'm gonna take brown sugar and a little bit of syrup. When I was growing up, I remember in elementary school, I went to my friend's house and she, her mom was making her French toast. And she had put brown sugar, mostly brown sugar on her um, French toast. And then she put just a little bit of syrup and stirred it in. And I was like, why are you doing that? She said, cause I don't like syrup, but I like the sugar, the brown sugar. And I was like, hmm, but if you do it, it does, it's a lot thicker. So it is a little tastier that way. I get that. Anybody else eat French toast with ketchup? I grew up having ketchup and um, syrup on ours. Isn't that, isn't that funny? I'm sure it's whatever. I'm sure it's a thing back in the day, but that was something else we had. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of that for that and then we'll put some powdered sugar. Some might put peanut butter on it with some chocolate sauce, either way, but we'll see how they make it. This is perfect. This will sit here. I've got my powdered sugar right here, and I've got one of these. This was something else I got in the mail yesterday. I'm excited to use this because you can really put the powdered sugar on properly. You don't have to. You don't have to at all, but it just makes it a little bit more fun and also to sift things. This is a great thing to add to our kitchen. This is the same company that I got my all my specialists from. I got it for yesterday. I got the blue ones and um, the also the little spreader I got as well. So this is done. Now what I'm going to do is my other focus. I'm looking at my list is cleaning my freezer because I'm pretty much, most of it is empty. I'll go see what we have in there. I'd like to clean up because I've never got to clean the freezer part out. Maybe take some ice and put it in a bag to stick in there because you know, you can always use more ice. So let me go over there and we'll do that. I'm gonna get my ice out, we'll dump it into a bag and then I clean the ice tray out. Our ice tray, a lot of it goes underneath it on the bottom part. I don't know. The tray is the same. I'm like, is it the tray that's doing it? I don't know. We'll start with the kids scooping it. So I'll put this ice in here. We'll start with a fresh tray. Okay, first is one of those places where quick. <laughs> so going to see it's pretty you can't see it's it's not empty but for the most part this stuff is all I'll find a place where it's most of its cheeses and stuff I do have a lot of um, chicken fajita meat still because I made all my own this next month so I'll make sure to eat that up in the next couple days and um, the few things I have in there are probably put in the outside freezer so I'll just wipe the top down and put it down Okay, so unfortunately it's not just me in this household, it's other people. So things are gonna get left open. So I know my freezer door has gotten left open. I do have an app to let me know and it beeps, but like stuff will get frozen. Like right here is a bread tie frozen in the ice. So just holding this on here, get enough. Key will be to get the moisture off here so it doesn't, uh, you know, refreeze up. So I'll make sure I dry it real good after I wipe it. It's definitely dirty for sure. It needs a cleaning. 
just a frozen bread tie right there. I'm laughing at myself because it's probably an easier way to clean this type of refrigerator. You probably can slide the drawers out, maybe. I just didn't want something to get stuck and then not be able to take it out. Maybe the bottom one. I'm sure you can take it off. Who else has one of these? Who else has the bespoke refrigerator? <laughs> Let me know. I think the bottom, because it's like just like a drawer. So I'm assuming these come off, this come off so I can clean back there. We're gonna do our best, but the key is get it dry. If you have any moisture in there, that's just gonna refreeze. So that's why I was wiping it really good. I'll put our popsicles back up here, probably the ice, and then I'll work on the bottom. So I think I've got the inside pretty much clean. The only thing, the food I put in there was the cheeses because I like to see what I have. I put the strawberries and blueberries because we can make a berry smoothie the next couple days. And then the um, energy bites. I have those in the freezer for a while. I don't think they even know they're there. And, is that it? and then the little sausage patties. Ooh, little sausage patties for breakfast. And that's it. And the other stuff I'll put in the freezer so I know I have it. I'm going to just wipe underneath here real quick the sides and make sure there's nothing wet so it doesn't freeze. Okay, we're in Florida. It's gonna get warm. <laughs> the ice is melting quickly. I've already just turned our temperature in our house. I just had to change the thermostat because I had it pretty warm in here. Or like, not to come on that much because it wasn't that hot, but now it's definitely getting much warmer in here. So I just had to change that. So I'm gonna dry this off and put this in there. And then I'm um, done with my freezer. I'll put this stuff out into the garage. Good, that's something I wanted to get done today. And now it's finished. To be careful of the water on the floor so you don't slip and fall. So the only thing in there was two pie crusts. I'm gonna put these in the freezer. I'm gonna get some cherry pie filling to make some more of those. I've got this potato meat. I've got two of these. I think there's one in the freezer, so I'll have to use it up. A little bit of corn that I used today. This up out there, this is refried beans. I'll put the other in. This was a, I think this is the Chick-fil-A soup. Yeah, my Chick-fil-A soup whenever I use that up. So that I'll, maybe I'll put that in the fridge and eat that up here in the next couple of days, and that's good. Freezer's empty, that's something I wanna do. The cheeses are just in there, the little patties will get eaten up, and then I'll focus on using up those berries for some smoothies. So my work is done. So now the kids are up and doing their thing, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna meet here, and then we're gonna do our school and stuff like that. So, good Wednesday. Okay, I'm gonna come to the garage here. Since I cleaned the inside, let me do this one. There's not that much food in here. We are definitely down, which is good. I've got a lot of cream of mushroom and cream of chicken, but just a few meals. So I'm just gonna wipe the sides in here. This freeze is real easy. It's basically everything falls to the bottom. It's not like the other one where all the water and all the ice go. Only thing left in here would be we have lemonade from last summer none of it we just didn't drink it so i don't know why but that's there it's not expired and then i have a lot of energy bites in there so those we'll make sure that we use those up and then the refrigerator in here this is pretty much 
our storage of everything else. It's too bright. So just, I don't really clean with too much in here, I wiped it down. It's just the storage of the extra food. So I've got my potatoes. I will not be putting those in the bottom drawer. I see it's a, it's a express chill freezer. And then I keep all my veggies over here and my coffees. We're down to three. probably just gonna black out on all of this sorry um, for the most part the freezer I just organized it according to the vegetables that I have super bright so put in mixed vegetables and then like the drawer with like peas and corn and um, stir-fry and the Brussels sprouts and then down I went down with broccoli and the bottom one was the Normandy mix because I had those all mixed up and they're in a white bag so it's hard to see put my ice packs in here this is good and then refrigerator is just it stores extra I'm gonna have somebody fill our egg carton today and potatoes and onions on the door all right, work is done. Now I gotta go in. Now I gotta do my school. Okay, today's been a good busy day. We are getting things done, did our reading, finished our book, it was a real quick book, and then um, we're doing extra chores. Or well, did school, did our school papers, and now we're gonna do some extra chores. So like Natty's filling up the egg carton, um, Jen's gonna go out and cut the grass today, and just different things like that. So we're gonna get that moving, I'm gonna help with whatever we gotta do, and then just keep on going for our day. So what have I been doing? It's the afternoon now, so I actually, been out, we have been doing edging on our yard. We don't have a motorized edger, so it's the handheld edger, but the one where Greg wanted that so bad, we got it. So out there doing that, showing Jensen how to do that. And then, um, what else? I got all my screens in. So all my screens are in the windows now. I tried taking them out of the upstairs window. I don't know, I was having a hard time and I realized it is way easier than I thought it was. So I got all my screens in the windows. I don't know if we'll ever actually open the windows. It's always like a little bit of muggy. So I don't, like as soon as you open it, it feels like it's wet in here. So I don't think I'll ever open them, but maybe, who knows, but they're in. So those are in, I got that done. And then I just got my slushy machine in here, clean up outside. And so I just got it in here and I was taking all the gaskets off and cleaning them. And I found this little gasket is on the machine. When I was going through like all the bits and pieces for the house, like who knows, remember how I found it? Like, where does this all go? This was a gasket for the slushy machine. So I just discovered that. I'm like, what is this? So I'm glad I didn't throw that away. So that was good. So I, I'm gonna work on doing this. I just have to clean it because it's been sitting outside a little bit, kind of scrub a little bit of the front because it got a little bit of the rust because, you know, salty air. But, and then I'll put this inside because we don't have, we're cleaning up outside a little bit, taking the table down, making it a little bit better so we can get like a couch and a sitting area out there. The table worked for the time being out there because Greg was working on the pool, but for now it's gonna be ready for like a cozy environment. The lights look awesome out there. We were swimming last night. I'm like, it's so nice having those lights out here. I mean, I would love to have them on strings like we used to, but in time, but for now, it works so we have it so great day so we just had lunch delicious the penny casserole delicious and then dinner's done so i'm going to go upstairs and edit for a little bit because i have to get out the door here today so i'd like to go up and edit be finished with that so when i um can maybe hopefully either get out with the kids or do one in the pool we'll see how the afternoon goes and then just enjoy my evening because i get out and i get to do a little bit of work tonight by myself and the kids go to a group so it works out really good so wednesday has been a great day once again so i hope you enjoyed your wednesday if not, you know what? A few more hours. I've got a few more hours to get going with today. I just got a coffee, my pumpkin coffee. As I was cleaning the freezer, I realized there's only, what, three more in there? And I'm like, okay, I kind of figured they would last till about February. And I'm like, that's coming really close. <laughs> I'm just going to switch over to hot coffee with ice in it. And that, it will be completely fine. It's just the thought of, I don't know why, the pumpkin spice is good. I don't really care for the caramel macchiato, even though it's the same thing. Um, but... The pumpkin I just think is better. I don't know. So who knows? I know it'll be some a change. Maybe the blueberry coffee cream will be. A lot of you said it's in at Walmart. Maybe I'll find that. You never know. So enjoy the rest of your day. Come tomorrow. We got more stuff to do. I don't know what, but just come enjoy. All right. Thanks for joining my day in my home today. I am here every day. I'm here every day, Monday through Friday, to show up for you. And guess what? You might be all by yourself. I was thinking about this today. I'm sorry. I'm going on a tangent. Can I do that? I can do that. I was sitting there in my quiet time this morning and starting to film and you know you think of like okay i might be filming my day i might be doing this forever lord and you know I, it took me back to when i was a young mom and there was there, there was no internet so it was like very isolated very isolated you didn't get to go out much because you're taking care of your kids you did you know get talk on the phone and stuff but that made life go a little crazy and so i thought you know 
to be able to like, hey moms, you got this, you're gonna get there. Or maybe you're not a mom, maybe you're just at home. Maybe you work, who knows? But like, hey, you know what? Someone is gonna show up for you every single day and be there for you and encourage you through your walk through the day. Keep you going, keep you motivated. We're gonna get things done. And then the days that we don't feel like it, it's okay, because you know what? Tomorrow's a new day. If we didn't really feel like it, it's quite all right, because you know what? Tomorrow's a new day. I've had plenty of days I didn't really feel like it. I've shared my days I don't feel like it. I shared with you the days where I felt like I was going through a storm. There's days I feel like I wanna crawl under a rock all normal things but still showing up being here saying you know what you're gonna make it you're gonna make it you're gonna make it through this i don't know how or when or who knows how it's gonna work out but you know what you're gonna make it you are so just keep going keep pushing through keep seeking god he will get you through day by day moment by moment the path he has for you so have a fantastic rest of your wednesday 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 and i will see you tomorrow for thursday all right see ya bye